Let's begin with the review of Sector 36 that releases on Netflix. Aditya Nimbalkar's directorial debut dives deep into the underbelly of crime and corruption, loosely inspired by the infamous Nithari killings. This chilling crime thriller presents a harrowing account of child disappearances in Delhi's Sector 36, revealing the dark and twisted psyche of a serial killer hiding in plain sight. The story follows Sub-Inspector Ram Charan Pandey, played by the brilliant Deepak Dobriyal, a corrupt, disinterested officer who dismisses the mounting cases of missing children from the slums of Shahadra. Pandey's routine apathy toward the cries of distraught parents keeps the criminality festering until his own daughter narrowly escapes kidnapping. This personal jolt forces him into action, propelling him into a labyrinth investigation that unearths the monstrous depths of human depravity. Vikrant Massey plays Frame, a mild-mannered caretaker at the mansion of the wealthy businessman Bassi, played by Akash Kurana. The film spares no time in revealing Frame as the serial killer behind the disappearances, using the opening scene to cement his guilt. The tension, therefore, is not in the mystery of who, but in how. Pandey uncovers the truth and confronts Frame. Unfortunately, this investigation feels more contrived than earned, driven by plot conveniences rather than skillful detective work. Nimbalkar shows promise as a director, especially in his visual storytelling. The crime scenes are soaked in an eerie atmosphere, with Saurabh Goswami's cinematography amplifying the dread through lingering shots of mutilated bodies and chilling discoveries. One particularly striking scene involves the camera panning over a wall filled with missing children's posters at a local police station. This image captures the anguish of the families and the profound failure of the system in a subtle, haunting way. However, the film often leans too heavily into the grotesque, crossing into exploitative territory at times. The visceral focus on the killer's necrophilic and cannibalistic tendencies detracts from a more thoughtful exploration of the societal rot that enabled these crimes. Deepak Dobriyal anchors the film with a powerful performance, imbuing Pandey with moral complexity. His transformation from indifferent officer to a father consumed by his pursuit of justice feels raw and genuine. The climactic confrontation between Pandey and Prem crackles with tension and Dovrial's disgust mixed with self-loathing for his earlier complacency is palpable. It's a standout moment in an otherwise uneven narrative. Vikrant Massey's portrayal of Frame is equally compelling, though his character's evil often verges in on caricature. Massey captures Frame's unsettling duality, his outwardly meek demeanor and his inner chaos, but the script's overindulgence in shock value sometimes weakens the psychological depth of his role. Despite accent inconsistencies, Massey delivers one of his boldest performances, pushing the boundaries of what we expect from him. Akash Kurana adds a layer of menace as Mr. Bassi, a morally corrupt businessman whose outward respectability hides a deeper involvement in the corrupt system. The film's screenplay, co-written by Nimbalkar, grapples with important themes like class disparity and institutional corruption, but these ideas are only skimmed on the surface. The subplot about the preferential treatment given to a rich businessman's kidnapped son while intended to highlight systematic inequality feels tacked on and distracts from the core story sometimes. Perhaps the film's biggest misstep is its detachment from the human cost of the crimes. The victims and their families are given little screen time and their anguish is sidelined in favour of the more sensationalist aspects of the killer's depravity. Despite its shortcomings, Sector 36 delivers a gripping, unsettling portrayal of crime and corruption. The film succeeds in creating an intense atmosphere with strong performances and moments of genuine tension that leave a lasting impact. Its unflinching look at human depravity and the failures of the justice system ensures it remains an engaging watch, particularly for fans of gritty crime thrillers. While there are areas that could benefit from deeper exploration, Aditya Nimbalkar's directorial debut showcases his potential as a filmmaker with a unique voice. Sector 36 stands as a bold, a provocative film that dares to confront the darkest sides of humanity. I think you should watch it only if you don't have a faint heart.